Hello, and welcome to today's SDL Trillion Docs demonstration. In this session, we will briefly showcase how SDL Trillion Docs Collective Spaces streamlines structured content authoring, reviews, and also centralizes collaboration in an intuitive interface. Starting with Review Space, we will be in the role of a subject matter expert or content reviewer who receives an email with a link to review a document. Upon clicking the link and logging into the system, our reviewer Rachel is presented with the review space interface. The first thing you'll notice is that Rachel can see the entire document in the main panel, being able to review all of the content in context. On the right hand side, Rachel is presented with a comments panel, showing her the feedback and collaboration from other people in the team. One of the first things Rachel may want to do is review the other comments. When she clicks on them, the shading and the underlining gives her the context for the comments and she can see quickly that this first one is resolved already, so no further action is needed. Rachel can review existing comments and can both reply to them as well as resolve. In this case, perhaps she wants to add a quick reply. The comments and the replies are threaded, so we will see comments from other people, all in the same context. Rachel can also edit her comments, so if she wishes to provide clarity, she can do that and resave her change. As she works through the comments, she may also choose to resolve a comment. In this case, Rachel is going to let people know that no change is needed. and she's going to change the resolution disposition to not changed. In addition to replying and resolving, Rachel can also, of course, add comments. So let's add some. Once you select, she can add a comment or a suggestion. First, let's do a comment. more of a question this one, a general question. Should we add a new product since we've got the cloud list being updated here? Now the second type is a suggestion. Suggestions actually give you the ability to make suggestions without changing the content but making specific content a recommendation. So in this case Rachel would like to spell that out and this is an editorial comment suggestion so she will save it as that. Once I save it you'll see that we have the track changes showing what was the original was and then later the author will be able to come in review the comment and actually make the change to the document text. Both the uh, suggestion and comment that we just created are unshared at this point so Rachel to complete her work will choose to share the comments with the other members of the team. Now we transition into the role of the author of the content, who may be a subject matter expert acting as a content contributor. The author Nigel opens the publication in SDL DraftSpace. Very similar interface, but providing more functionality to allow the author to easily edit and update the content. Familiar toolbars and ribbons along the top allow Nigel to interact with the content, but first Nigel may choose to look at the comments pane and review the feedback that's been requested from others in the team. Nigel may review the comments and decide which changes to implement. In this case, our topic is already released, so it gives Nigel the option to create a new version, which is a permission-based activity. If the topic were already in a draft state, Nigel could simply click and start to edit, as I will do here now. We've now got this topic in a draft state in the new version. I can simply click and type to replace my 3 with 6 to make that update. When I do, you'll see immediately we have new icons appear to save and discard the changes. That tells me that this component, this topic, is checked out to me from the Tridian Docs repository. 
Nigel can now choose to resolve this one with any comment and resolution. As Nigel works through, he can choose which changes to implement. This one here requests adding a footnote, so you can use the menus to simply do that. For larger changes, such as this one here, Nigel can simply copy the entire text and replace that into the document. Through the DraftSpace interface, Nigel also has powerful capabilities of connecting with the SDL Trillion Docs repository, inserting images, reusing content references as well as existing components. This comment here asks Nigel to insert a topic, new trends from the market. He can do that by selecting where the section he would like to place that in. Place it at the bottom here, insert the existing topic. This provides the connection to the Trillion Docs repository to locate the content which is facilitated with real-time previews of content, making it easy for Nigel to select the correct content and then dropping that right into place. That's a simple example of content reuse and now Nigel can work with this content as well, checking it out seamlessly from the repository. Through DraftSpace, users can also work with tables and also create brand new topics using our wizard. Please check out our longer SDL Collective Spaces recorded demonstration for more details on those features. And that completes today's brief look in a two SDL Tridian Docs Collective Spaces, showing how the solution can simplify and centralize company-wide content review and collaboration processes. Thanks for your time.